Hey everyone, today we are talking about something that can literally save lives, PPE or personal protective equipment. Whether you work in a hospital, a construction site or a lab, knowing the right PPE and how to use it properly is a game changer for safety. Stick around, by the end of this video you know exactly what gear you need, when to use it and how to stay protected. Let's begin. First, what is PPE? PPE is specialized gear meaning it's scientifically designed for specific dangers like chemicals or impacts. It's your last line of defense. Even if ventilation systems or machine guards fail, PPE is what keeps you safe. Now, why does PPE matter? First, PPE prevents injuries. Think hard hat stopping falling bricks. Second, it reduces infections, like how N95 masks block viruses. Third, it keeps you legally compliant. OSHA fines for skipping PPE are steep. Finally, it saves lives every day. PPE stops fatalities in mines, hospitals and factories. There are seven major types of PPE. Let's briefly introduce each. Head protection like hard hat shields from impacts. Eye protection like goggles stops debris. Hearing protection like earplugs prevents deafness. Respirators filter toxic air. Gloves protect hands, body suits block chemicals and safety boots save feet. We'll dive into each next, starting with head protection. Hard hats are for construction. They're tested to withstand 20 pounds drop from 10 feet. Helmets for electricians are non-conductive to stop shocks. And bump caps? They're for warehouses where you might hit your head on a shelf. Bottom line, each type prevents catastrophic head injuries, from fractures to electrocution. Now, let's talk about eye and face protection PPE. Safety goggles seal tightly to stop chemicals or dust labs use these daily. Face shields protect against splashes like blood in hospitals or sparks in welding. Welding masks have special filters to block UV rays that cause blindness. Who needs these most? Lab workers, welders, nurses and carpenters. Moral? One slip without these could cost your vision. Now, let's talk about hearing protection PPE. Earplugs are cheap and disposable, great for occasional noise. Earmuffs are bulkier but better for constant loud sounds, like airports. Key detail here, OSHA requires protection above 85 decibels. That's like a blender running non-stop. Ignoring this, say goodbye to your hearing over time. Now, let's talk about respiratory protection PPE. N95 filter, 95% of particles used in hospitals for viruses half or full face respirators, seal tightly and use cartridges to block chemicals like asbestos. SCBA, self-contained breathing apparatus, supplies clean air in fires or toxic gas leaks. Filters matter, particulars, gas, vapors or oxygen deficient air, wrong filter, it's useless. Now, let's talk about hand protection PPE. Latex or nitrile gloves are for healthcare. They block viruses but tear easily. Cut-resistant gloves with Kevlar stop blades in butcheries. Chemical-resistant gloves like neoprene shield plow workers from acids. Heat-resistant gloves protect welders or chefs from burns. Remember, gloves must match the hazard or they'll fail when you need them most. Now, let's talk about body protection PPE coveralls like hazmat suits seal out toxins. Aprons in hospitals stop blood or chemical splashes. High visible vests make road crews seen at night. Flame resistant clothing won't melt onto skin in oil or gas fires. Pro tip, if your job involves spills, fire or low visibility, this gear is non-negotiable. Last but not least, foot protection, PPE. Steel tube boots prevent crushed feet in construction. Slip resistant shoes have grippy soles for wet floors. Electrical hazard boots insulate electricians. Puncture resistant soles stop nails in demolition work. Fun fact, Foot injuries cause 25% of workplace disability claims, so don't skimp here. 5 Rules for Correct PPE Use Rule 1. Match PPE to the hazard. Chemical gloves won't stop cuts. Rule 2. Fit is key. A loose respirator leaks. Rule 3. Inspect for damage. Cracks compromise protection. Rule 4. Tone or doff carefully. Peeling off masks wrong spreads germs. Rule 5. Clean or store as instructed. Dirty gear breeds bacteria. Skip any step and PPE fails. Deadly PPE mistakes. First, reusing disposables like masks lets pathogens through. Second, ignoring damage. 
tiny glove holes expose you to chemicals. Third, wearing PP wrong, goggles on your forehead don't count. Fourth, careless removal, ripping off gloves contaminates your hands. These errors kill. Literally, let's recap the key takeaways. One, PP is your lifeline. It's why construction workers go home unharmed. Two, match gear to hazards. Hospital masks won't stop welding sparks. Three, use it right. Or it's just a fashion statement. Safety isn't luck, it's preparation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share with your colleagues and subscribe for more safety and training content. Stay safe and see you in the next video.